Hello everybody, my name is Oscar and this is episode 28 of Java Game Development in which I'm going to cover drawing dynamic text using the Slick library. So you need to go to slick.cokeandcode.com in your favourite browser and then go to download library only and save the jar file in your project workspace libs jar directory like I have here. Then go to Eclipse or NetBeans properties, Java build path, and then add the slick.jar file. In that beans, by the way, this would be a library and not Java build path. Never mind. So we are going to use the Unicode font class to achieve the text rendering. So here we are going to create a variable called private static. Actually, it's just called Unicode font, and it's private and static. And we're going to call it font. And then we're going to say private static decimal format formatter is new decimal format hashtag dot hashtag hashtag. And this sets up a decimal format so we have hang on. So when we give floats to the format method in this formatter class, we have one digit here and then two digit digits after the dot. Pretty straightforward. Then we have two float buffer instances, perspective projection matrix and orthographic projection matrix. And these will handle or actually store our perspective projection matrix from the camera and our orthographic projection matrix for the text rendering, the 2D text rendering. So we say private static float buffer perspective projection matrix is reserve data 16 and this is a convenience method I created last episode which initializes an empty float buffer with 16 elements. I'm going to create another one of these but this time I'm going to call it orthographic projection matrix and I am of course going to reserve data for 16 elements because it is a 4x4 four four matrix. And then I'm going to go to set up fonts and I'm going to say java.awt.font and we're going to name it awt font is new java.awt.font and we're going to use the times new roman font It is going to have bold casing, not casing, kind of bold attributes, and the size will be 18. Then we'll say Unicode font, which is the class from the Slick library. Actually, we're just going to say underscore. We're going to say font, and then dot or is new unicode font I'm sorry people I'm tired and then I'm going to say awt fonts and then what I'm going to do is say fonts dot add ASCII glyphs you don't really need to know what this does but suffice to say that this and font dot load as ASCII glyphs or actually just load glyphs apparently loads all the characters and this is going to take quite a long time a few seconds actually so you probably need to keep this in check for your programs it's going to take a few seconds and then catch slick exception e say e dot print stack trace and clean up then i'm going to go to the setup camera method. Let's see, setup camera, where are you? Here. And this is going to be a bit tricky. What we're going to do here is store the 2D projection matrix inside orthographic projection matrix float buffer instance, and then do the same for the perspective projection matrix. So here's what we're going to do. GL get floats, GL underscore projection underscore matrix, perspective 
projection matrix, GL matrix mode, GL underscore projection, GL load identity, and then GL ortho zero display dot get width display dot get height zero one and negative one and then GL get float oops GL underscore model view underscore matrix model not model view orthographic projection matrix and then say GL load matrix respective projection matrix and finally switch back to the model or yeah the model view matrix model view matrix so that was quite tricky wasn't it GL get float GL projection matrix perspective projection matrix this stores the camera matrix we created this with this line and stores it into our perspective projection matrix float buffer instance wow well, that's a mouthful then we change the projection matrix wipe all the contents of it clean and then say GL ortho well you know the deal this is just setting up an orthographic presentation where each pixel on the projection corresponds to one pixel on the display canvas and also the upper left corner of the canvas is 0x 0y then once we've set the orthographic presentation we want for 2d text rendering we say GL get float GL model view matrix and an orthographic projection matrix so we store this matrix in the orthographic wait this should be GL underscore projection matrix kudos to you if you found out that was wrong before I said it then GL load matrix pr perspective projection matrix now this applies the projection matrix we just stored here and we don't have to calculate it all over again with this method. So we do that and then we say GL matrix mode, GL model view matrix. So finally we change back to our model view matrix for drawing. Now let's go to the setup lighting method and enable blending. Let's see where can I find the setup lighting method. Ah here it is. GL enabled GL underscore blend GL blend func GL source alpha GL one minus source alpha. So this enables blending, which is required for the font drawing. Okay, simple as that. Now, what shall we do? I guess we should actually go and render the characters. So we're going to render our camera position, x, y, and z coordinates. And we're going to do that by using the decimal format and by using the method font.drawString. So here's where it gets, gets a little tricky again. GL matrix mode, GL underscore projection. We change to projection mode to modify our projection matrices. GL load matrix, orthographic projection matrix. So we load the matrix we want for 2D text drawing. Then we say GL matrix mode, GL underscore model view matrix. We switch back to drawing mode. Then we say GL push matrix. GL load identity and what this does is it creates a new matrix slice off the stack so when we say GL pop matrix it restores whatever state it was in here and then we say GL load identity to wipe the contents of this matrix clean and then we actually get to say GL disable lighting which pretty self-explanatory isn't required for uh, the text drawing lighting isn't required for the text drawing and now finally we get to draw the string so font dot dot draw string 10 10 this is the coordinates 
these are the coordinates x and y and then camera colon x is plus formatter dot format cam dot get x plus comma y is plus formatter dot format cam dot get y plus z is formatter dot format cam dot get z there we go this should draw the string the camera position now we can enable lighting again so gl enable gl underscore lighting gl pop matrix to restore the state of all our translations prior to gl push matrix here and then gl matrix mode projection now the only thing left to do is to switch back to the perspective projection matrix so we are going to call gl load matrix and then perspective projection matrix and of course switch back to model view matrix now i believe that's all there is to it this is dynamic text drawing at its finest or so i hope no hmm okay i forgot something that's embarrassing what i need to do here is say font.get effect dot add and then new color effect and then say java.awt.color.white so we are going to draw white text and for some reason this is required so hey I'm not going to argue with it good now we actually have the camera position set on screen using dynamic text you can also use this technique this orthographic switching technique to draw an HUD in front of your model or scene and that in a nutshell answers many many questions I've gotten from you guys so I hope you're all very glad that I made this tutorial I guess <laughs> now I just noticed something else which is that the title is still VBO model demo which is of course not really desirable it should be something like dynamic text demo dynamic text demo great I hope you all enjoy this tutorial the source can be found on my github repository which can be found in my description of the video if you have any questions you can tweet me at coding universe or mail me the coding universe at gmail.com i hope to see you in the next video but until that time see you in the next video wow that came up really crappy anyway bye